Whoa. First of all, I'm Zog, and we're playing Stoneblock 3. I'm not going to make it a long intro, but I wanted to take a look at this screen because it's actually really cool. I love that. All right, let's move on. Okay, what the heck is this? I had to turn off the chat. Like, it doesn't show any more. I don't know what that is. But, like, I, it's like some kind of a lobby, I guess. I had to turn off the chat because I don't know... Like, there's a lot of people talking. I, I don't trust people not to say things I don't approve of and yada, 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 whatever, whatever. Hello, I will take you. I apparently won't take you. What is happening and what do I do? Do I just go through the portal? I don't know. I wanted to show you guys this because this it is, it is really amazing. But I'm trying to play a game. Ow! And this is not the game that I'm trying to play, if that makes sense. It's a little, it's a little much, I think for like an intro that doesn't actually explain what's happening. I guess we'll go, yeah, stone block portal. I guess we're going through the portal. Okay, so now we have the start. Now we have the choices. Let me go through these and see what I want and I'll kind of, I don't know, let you know what I've chosen, I guess. Okay, so I chose the original. And the main reason for that is because I the the only stone block I played was the first one stone block one and I, I actually really really liked it. Um, it's not a series I continued for a long time, but it is one I wanted to continue. Things just kind of got out of hand, but I feel like the other ones would have been a head start. You know, I feel like I would have had more than the genuine amount of stuff or something. I don't know, but maybe I'm just overthinking it, but I just kind of thought maybe we'd start simple and see where we go from here. Now, as far as what to do, like you kind of saw, here's this, this stuff here. Um, it, it's got, it's going to have some, some reading to it and yada, 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 that kind of thing. So I'm going to go through it and probably start doing whatever it is I got to do for the basics. I'm going to get something set up and then we'll figure out what's going on from there. Okay, so the first start is kind of cool. You actually punch rocks and you get rocks. It's it's interesting. And also, by the way, these are edible, apparently. Sometimes random things will happen to you. Anything from handy loat to mildly annoying or funny jokes. Like, I don't know what that is, but it's, it kind of sounds pretty cool. Also, we have this guy here. Let's random reward. What did we get? Wow. Talk about a reward. Look at that thing. We don't even have a pickaxe yet. and We have all the all the cobble we need. Problem is, we're in a world filled with stone. We don't need cobble. Like, at all. Of course I lied. I do actually need cobble. But these guys, you need to like have a chest and stuff for it, and I don't even know how to do that. Guys, I'm I'm kind of lost here. I understand a little bit about what to do, but I figured there'd be... There's a stone crafting table, and I can make stone rods. Why can't I make a stone pickaxe? We got a pedal apothecary, by the way. We got one of these as a, one of those random rewards for the second one we did for this guy. I got a pedal apothecary. Let's see what we get for the, the hammer. I got a gold paxel. And gravel. Oh, we get a little more gravel for that. Okay. There is a stone chest. Don't ask how it works. Just use it. Okay, apparently there's a loot bee over here or something. Yeah, so this direction. But I gotta go. Oh, there. Oh, look, it's like highlighted. I got it? I got something. Something popped into my inventory. Mystical white flower and an emerald. And an egg. Okay, I got some stuff. Okay, I know it's dark, but do not attack the loot bee, apparently. I didn't realize it was dropping things until after I killed it. I might be a little bit dumb here, but I didn't know what a loot bee was. Maybe you are. Never mind. I was about to say, maybe you are supposed to uh, 
hit them. But no. Apparently not, because now I'm getting stuff. Ooh. Oh, what what else did it drop? I got some good stuff. Look, hold on. I got a battery? Oh, it's still dropping things. Where is it? It's not... I don't... What? And from what I can tell, you need a lot of... Basically, you need a pretty good setup of create in order to really do a lot of things. And I don't want to be struggling the whole time. Now, the create mod is going to give us the ability to do things that would normally require power before we actually get power. So what I'm going to do, it says in the book, if you go down or up far enough, you'll reach an andesite layer. That's what I'm going to kind of try to get to. And then we're going to work on getting andesite. And while we're waiting for mobs to spawn, our little friends down there, I am going to try to get into... Meanwhile... Wow, you're super far down. Okay, he's too far down to get to, I think. We're going to ignore him. I like loot bees, but... Yeah. But anyway, we're going to start making a, uh, a pretty sophisticated create mod setup. Obviously, it's not going to be sophisticated right away, but I'm going to work towards that goal. So that way we can use rotational force through various means that I kind of sort of know a little bit about because I've messed with it before to actually do some things before we actually have RF power, you know, anything like that. So, you know, I said we weren't going to go towards it, but we're actually getting pretty close, I think. So let's go ahead and keep trying to go there, maybe. I'm not going to struggle. Like, if he disappears, he disappears, right? But if we can get to him, by all means, right? Yes, I filled in the other hole, and now I'm mining straight down. Sort of. I know better than to mine straight down. Don't worry. You see how I'm straddling the block. I'm good. But no, like, I mean, you know, making a ladder situation. It's a lot harder to climb stairs. It's a lot easier to climb ladders. I don't know why I always forget this. And I always build stairs to go down first. I don't know what's wrong with me. But don't worry. I'm doing it the right way now. Just give me some time. I'll figure it out. Maybe. Interesting. Look, this is andesite, right? But if I smash it with a hammer, I get cobblestone still. Interesting. Why am I collecting cobblestone? It should be in here. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we reached that level, I guess. I got. I just want to build... I want to go down a few more levels so it's actually solid andesite. And then... Um, yeah, I'm going to make ladders. I'm going to come down here, make a proper mine, get a bunch of andesite, and I want to test something. Well, this is kind of cool. Don't mind the fact I fell off the ladder, but you can build the ladder. Like, as you go, kind of. Like, you don't have to be aiming at the, t at the highest one. You can just kind of... Yeah, that's cool. And then, of course, you kind of go up and down it quickly because they do it the right way. Anyway, that's not what I wanted to, to test. It's kind of rare you have a mod that actually includes this particular up and down ladders fast and be able to build them from the bottom kind of thing. At least it used to be rare. I don't know if it still is, but you know, hey, it's been a little while since I've been in modded. So bleh. give me some slack. OK, just just give me some slack. So I am digging still with the hammer. It looks like this might be a decent ish solid layer maybe there's a few more maybe we should go down a little bit more for this i know i'm still getting cobblestone for this i understand because i'm using the hammer and then that connect to connect and then we oh, that's not what i wanted so now if i do this i know it's dark i apologize forgot about it um now i can go up and down just fine and i can go through here i wonder if i can do this okay i'm on the ladder still can we ultimine this Whoa, we sure can. And I broke the ladder. Um, all right. Hold on. Give me some stuff here. <laughs> I did. I made a boo-boo. I, I boo-booed my ladder. Let me go there, I guess. And we'll put another one down here. Now, it does appear you can ultimine andesite, which is good because, well, we need andesite. We need, we're going to need lots of it. You cannot ultimine Where's, oh, I'm missing the bottomest, the bottomest ladder. 
You cannot apparently ultimine stone. Well, at least it says you can't. I haven't actually tried. But I don't really have an interest in because it'll kind of ruin everything. You can do it to cobblestone and everything else, though. So it made sense you could do it to andesite. But I just wanted to test that, and yep, it works. So now we can actually have our andesite here. We can get started a little bit in the create mod. Loot B. And he's so close, too. Look at this. Right there. No, we're not going to kill him. Don't worry. I, I made that mistake once. We're just going to wait here to see what he drops for us. When do you drop goodies? It's like waiting for Santa Claus on your roof. Only you can see him. And Santa Claus actually brings you stuff. There we go. What do we get? Ooh. Oh! I like that one. Hello, crystal chest. And another egg, which is useful. And I'll show you why in a little bit. Oh, hi. What did you go over the way over here for? Another copper ingot, I guess. What else did you get? Another egg. Emerald and gold. Nice. And a flower. And another one of those. Oh, you done? I think he's done. I think he finished giving us stuff. I like I like the stuff he got us. Hold on, let me get this guy. Also, I got this from one of the random rewards, and it's really kind of cool, actually. I kind of like it. It's a little pocket storage unit, which basically it will store a large amount of a few things. Like right now I only have eight slots. There's other tiers. Um, but it can go all the way up to 255 of each one. And so I can just set something in here and just like collect all the andesite. Like as I mine, it'll collect cobblestone or andesite or whatever. Now the issue is we kind of want to keep all of the andesite we can. So I got to keep an eye on this. Because if it gets to 255 and then I mine more andesite, the rest is voided. I did mention I was waiting on some mobs, but that's not exactly the mob I was looking for. Sorry, buddy. But I need something that, like, passive mob. I need some sheeps or something. I don't know, but I made this thing here. I have the millstone. Basically, what it looks like is... In order to get stuff, what does it say here? You get basic resources like iron using the millstone. More advanced resources aren't unavailable until... Un wow. Well, I, I I swear I can. I, I can words on occasion. I can do this on occasion. I'm telling you. That, that was the wrong one. Let's try this again. You can get basic resources like iron using the millstone. More advanced resources aren't available until later. There we go. So everything's powered by rotational force. Yada, 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 yada. Ponder, yada, yada, yada. Like I've said, I've used a mod before, so I do kind of understand this concept and how to do what I need to do. Okay, that is not how you do it. Apparently. Does it just, like, fall in? I forget how to put them into the thing. Nope, oh, that's how you do it, I think. Can I put in more than one? Sure. Let's put them all in there. And then we're going to grind them. We're going to do it this way. It's grinding thing. You see the little particles of, of gravel at the bottom? That means it's working. It means I figured it out. I did it right, kind of. It's also using a lot of food. And I didn't realize that. I don't want to starve. I have to stop now because I need to eat something and I don't exactly have a food source ready. So I, 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 yeah, I, have to, I, I might be in trouble. What the heck? Here's a stick. They gave me the holy stick of wood divining. Zero uses left. It's placeable. Really? Oh my goodness. I can place the stick. Can I pick it back up? Or do I ruin it forever? I... Wait. It did ruin it. They're placeable? I can place a stick? That's kind of cool looking. Hold on, let's place some sticks in here. Why? Because I want to. Now you have sticks all over the place. And our place looks a little more snazzy because of it. And out of that whole grinding thing, we did get a bunch of raw iron. So I think we put in like 18, was it like 18 gravel? And we got out um, like eight iron. We also got like five coal because I used one for this and some zinc, but also sand. So I don't know. I wanted to see what you could do with, hold on. If I go to usage on this guy, it will tell me a lot, but. 
I'm looking for like blocks. I think I saw the gravel one at the end, iron and zinc and coal. Like that's what you get in huge quantities for this. So I kind of want to, I want to get this automated, but I want to focus on not needing the hand crank. Like I said, I don't really have a good food source. What I did for food was actually just to grow these and try to get apples. Just do this over and over again until I get enough apples to survive. You know, that's all I really did. Now, you don't get apples every time, obviously, but because you can chop or place, grow, and chop them all really quick, it is a decent way to go about getting because you don't have to wait a whole lot of the time. It is a way to get food early on. Like, there's an apple for us. Um, it's not terribly efficient, and we need crops. Oh, chickens! Chickens! I didn't realize we had chickens. Chickens, guys. We... Yeah, guys, guys, we have chickens. I need a feather and an egg. The two big things that I need. I need to make sure we save at least one chicken. But if I, I can get a feather out of it. Out of one of them. Hey, come here. I should have looked at him to see which one's the next egg. Next egg. 341. Are you all the same? 390 something. We'll get you. Yeah, I got a feather. Woo! So feather, stick, and I just go wait for an egg. I might already have one. Oh, lovely. Can I just bobble this thing? Where can you get? Where can I put in anywhere? I'm feeling maybe not anywhere. Oh, it's forever on. Oh, guys, I love magnets and now I have one. Oh, it's amazing. It's so amazing. All right, let's go here. Do I have the egg still? I do. Okay, so let's make ourselves a chicken stick. The stick of chicken. I thought I could whack this guy. Right click on him. Right? Hold on. Let's go to this thing real quick. Because it kind of tells you a little. Wow. A lot more has opened up. Uh, passive resources. I got the chicken stick. I got bacon. The chicken catcher can be used on chicken mobs to turn them into items. That's what I thought. But do you have to craft one first? Now, this setup here is actually not too incredibly difficult. Um, it'll take a lot of resources because we don't currently have the means to get uh, rose quartz. Um, we need to get redstone first and quartz. Uh, iron sheets we can get eventually, but brass we can get with the zinc. You can mix that uh, alloying. We have the zinc, but we don't have, we, we have copper, but only from the loot bees. So we don't have a huge amount of it. So we can do some of this, but it's going to be a while. Or I have to figure out exactly where to go for, um, like, and what to get in order to get some of these resources in higher quantities. Or we're going to be waiting a while. Why can I not chicken catch this guy, though? That's what I'm curious about. Can you not do it to regular chickens? I guess you can't. Uh, over here, I've started to expand this area a little bit because, surprisingly enough, it's simple, super, super simple to get water. Basically, you just take some saplings or leaves or something and drop it, just right-click on a cauldron, and it fills it up. So I sieved up a whole bunch or grinded up a whole bunch of uh, gravel until I got enough iron to make the cauldron and a bucket, made some water, and now I have a water bucket. And now I'm looking into the water wheel from create which is actually really easy to make just a bunch of slabs a plank a bunch of buttons and some polished andesite which we already know i can get from all the way down to bottom and you're good to go basically so we're gonna set this guy up i'm gonna make him first i didn't actually make him yet but yeah i don't know exactly how this works yeah okay so that's the proper orientation now what i want to do we're gonna use some slabs here first i think i can do a little tricky loo thing um, if I do this, I believe, and then we go like this, it's spinning that way. This actually needs to be, um, I guess stopped. Yeah. See now it's spinning like quickly. I don't know why the blades are going through here and why it's allowing it. Yada, 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 but whatever we have this guy. Um, so I can connect a, I need to get a shaft. I will have to make shafts. Finally, one like came directly into me. 
like into my area. I didn't have to dig to it or anything. It'll drop stuff here in a little bit. And I have a magnet on. So we're going to collect those no problem. We're going to kind of do this. I have some stuff in my inventory. Don't mind it. I'm going to explain it in a second. You're, you're having lots of fun, aren't you, buddy? Anyway, so I did get this set up. Um, it, it's kind of coming back to me as far as these things. And it's a really, really, really cool mod. I love the visually interactive ones. You know, the ones that kind of use the world, like you know, drop you items in or show them in the world. You know, it's not just one simple machine that just does all the work and outputs a result, which don't get me wrong. I'm totally OK with uh, because they're powerful and they're useful and they're great. And they, at the end of the day, I just want things to look good. That was my phone beeping. Uh, but it's still, I don't know, it's still really cool to me to see these kinds of things. Now, I need to learn more, but I also want to know about botany pots. It seems like you can use these to get stuff. Diamonds and another crystal chest. This one is, this one outputted a lot of stuff. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so water wheel into large cog wheel and the smaller one to make it spin faster. And then the gearbox to change direction to shoot it down into our, our mill. So we can now do this. I was looking into getting the funnels to spit it out automatically, which is fine. It's actually possible to get, but you do need the kelp. So we can, we can smelt up kelp. And what we can do in order to get kelp is actually crook some sand, which is totally possible. But it led me to look at... Give me a second. It, looked, it led me to look at the the crops so i'm wondering if i can make one of these and i don't know i don't know i gotta look into this because it's not actually showing me a usage like i can't go to you for this and see anything other than this stuff here so i i don't actually know but in any case i do want to make them you get two of them with this guy so i'm gonna go ahead and crook some sand get the funnels have this stuff anything i drop in here automatically put into a chest and I do need to look at the belts, though, as well. But anyway, I'm going to get going on that. And again, this is a super long episode, but I wanted to get to a certain point first. Uh, and I'm almost there. I'm almost there, but not quite. So uh, give me some time. Let me do some stuff. I have a place way over there where mobs can spawn. I have my chicken making me some eggs. I have a very, very starter, basic little create mod thing where I can actually drop in gravel and get supplies out all automatically. Only thing I need to do is make the gravel and, you know, hammering down. I've tried to find a way to automate gravel collection and there are ways, but they're like much more difficult than I think they should be. So if you like the video, please do hit the like button and subscribe to see more. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.